Good morning. Right, this video shall be entitled Cheating by Using End Caps Correctly. In this area, it's quite tight. There's not a lot of room to maneuver the cable. So what I'm going to do is measure it. And I'll see the end caps, see those, those bolts. One, two, three, four, right? I'm going to take the end cap off, slide it over the cable, and then the cable doesn't really have to move. All I'm going to do is bend that down. However, you measure, this is where your measuring comes in. It's got to be spot on. So we'll see how we get on with this. Right, cable gets measured in the normal way. There's, no, there's nothing much different about that. What becomes apparent is it's got to be absolutely spot on. So, got a little measuring cable and I'm just looking at this bend it needs to come down a little bit more I think probably there probably there right I'm going to say that. <coughs> there, I'm going to transfer that across. And make the lock. Right. So the next move is to, because I don't want this up in the air, I need to straighten that so it's flat. So the next move is to do that. Now what I've done is I've transferred the hitch onto that side of the line. It was here previously on this side. So I'm just going to bend this cable flat now. And then that will give me my exact measure. I'm going to what? No, I'm going to move it up ever so slightly. That will go back that way. That should give me a decent bend. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Right, I'm going to get a measure of how much cable I need inside. I'm going to cut this piece down and then I'm going to put the gland on. So, everyone's seen the gland being put on, so I won't bother with that. But I will show you how we get, well, I'll try and show you how I get this plate off and then how I get it back on. Right then, this is what we're left with. So we've got, there is it, banjo. I'll need that to finish at the top when I'm done so I can get a drill in. And then the end cap of the trunk in. And the lock nut now. <coughs> the lock nut is loose, right? Like example said, it's holding the gland, but it's holding it loose. <laughs> See what I did there? Right, now then. <clears throat> I've got to get that lifted up. This is where this comes into play. The ratchet, the little ratchet puller comes into play because I, I can move it in increments and still work with two hands here, and that just holds it in place for me. So I'll see how good it is, how good of a shot I can get of this. to go up and it needs to go back 
So we can build it up. That's pretty easy. And obviously, when that brings it up, it brings it this way. So I need it to go back over. Can't, oh, bad light. Can't believe I've done that. Craig come the supervisor, I was talking to him for a little, little bit. I forgot to turn the camera back on. And I've got three of the bolts in. So I'll show you how I'm going to get the last one in. Sorry. So, that one's in. And the two top ones are in. So I've still got this bottom one here to go in. Now, there it is. It's not quite in place yet, so what I'm going to do put a screwdriver in I'm going to give it a little tap that might have got it let's have a feel I can't see, that's the problem Blows Moby Dick. So 
there's that now I just need to tighten the lock nut make sure that stays in place and we're good to go keep the fan on today because already it is quarter past 10 in the morning and it is about 21 degrees so it is a warm one today anyway in so you can see there's not a lot of room if you were going to try and get a meters worth of cable up into this corner turned and round just take off the end plate obviously in any situation like that if you're in a tight situation you can, re you can actually request if to do that if it's coming down you can put like a little a little T piece up there with a clamp with the end plate on and you can take everything off and you just push it back so that it, that's a thing to remember to request to the electricians say look can, instead of just having a flat like this right and I haven't got a lot of room to get the cable in if you can give me put a T piece in and then put a piece coming up the wall you can then gland the cable and push it back so you're not having to gland it into there and then lose all like pull all of the cable out and then try and push it back in if you've got limited room it's just a good thing to do but that's a little a little tip there you can always remove them it's only four bolts and you can put them in back quite easily put them in back put them back in Anyway, I want to terminate this now, and then I've got to go, funny enough, I've got to go up there. Talk about having no room. There's a four car 150, and it basically goes through the floor about that much, and then into a trunken. So I'm going to have to gland it, take the trunken all completely off, pull the trunken over the, um, over the cable, fit the trunken back onto the unistruts, and hopefully I'll be able to tell it the cable. Things you do for a bit of work, yeah, a bit of money. I might even show you that one, because that's that's gonna be it's gonna be a pain. Anyway, thanks for watching. I know it's only a short little thing, but thanks for watching. Little thumbs up, see you in a bit. Right. <clears throat> this is upstairs. So the cable I've done previously was just through that grating. Now we've come up here. So what I'm gonna have to do, let me explain. This is a 4 core 150. Goes into that switch there. So the rack comes up here. So if I was going to go on the rack, I'd come in directly underneath and straight through this. And this is a 150 trunk, and there's no way I'm bending 150s through there. So what I'm going to have to do is offset it so I can bend them like that and up. I have to take this trunk and off and slide it over the top of the cable like I did with the end downstairs but I'm gonna to have to do it with the whole trunk and now this whole trunk and is held on by one two three and there's one in the back there four six mil bolts effectively so that's what it's held on with now like that end tell them we're nothing and there's a four car 150 going into it so I'm not holding out a great deal of hope for this um, I think there'll be some struggling so I shall let you know when I'm struggling and when I'm not and how things actually progress what I've done as you can see that is a lot higher look than that so what I've done <clears throat> is I've already got a measure on the cable to the gland I've pulled it up as far as I can get it so I can actually work on it in this area comfortably I'm gonna put the gland on and then I'm gonna drop it back down and hopefully remove this and slide it over the top and fix it again it's gonna be difficult but I'm gonna give it a go